Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a Stitch Fix unboxing and try on, but as I've mentioned in the past, these like clothing subscription box videos can get a little bit repetitive. So this go round, what I'm going to do is style each piece in my Stitch Fix box with items I already own. So I think it's easy for these videos for me to try something on and say, this top would be really cute with these kind of pants or these kind of shoes. So in this video, I'm going to show you those pants and those shoes with each item. I had a lot of fun putting these outfits together. And to be honest, it gave me some perspective on how these things would look wearing them out of this room. Brian also got in on this. He helped me film, but he also styled one thing in the box and I wore the exact outfit that he picked out. So I'll tell you which one that is when we get there. The first item I want to show you is the one that I kind of hated when it came in and I tried it on just when the box came in, but when I styled it, I loved it. All right, so this is a Rachel Roy 3X like pleather type top. It does have cuff sleeves. The back zips up and it's also got this paneling of fabric on it. This, when I pulled it out of the box, I was like, what is that? Like what is happening in this box? and then I styled it. So for this, I see it more as like a date night out outfit. So I paired it with uh, black skinny jeans and little black chunky heels. I pulled my hair back. I wore big gold earrings because I have a little black and gold clutch that I thought would be really pretty. So this actually turned out to be like a really cute like going out outfit. I think the hair pulled back made the, the difference because I mean, I'm wearing like a pleather top, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm gonna wear it, I want you to see it. I did get a pair of bottoms too. These are the Madewell brand in a size 35, which I'm pretty sure is a 20, curvy high rise skinny. These um, are light wash, kind of light-ish wash, not quite medium, no distressing, no nothing on them. They are also cropped on me anyways at the bottom. So I thought these would be fun for just a casual outfit. So I paired these with just a white, plain like tee and white converse and I think it looked really really cute I paired it with the sneakers and the more casual look because they were so cropped and I think that it turned out really cute these jeans by the way were too small I mean they fit like you're obviously looking at me wearing them but they were definitely too small um, had they been a size or two larger I maybe would have liked them but I don't need skinny jeans $135 I haven't looked at prices for anything, but $135 is not going to happen. Then I got this really cute, like, navy-ish, like, heather navy cardigan. This is from the brand Evolution in a size 2X. So what I did for this, I just put it over the white t-shirt. I tucked the white t-shirt into the Madewell jeans and threw this on. I love, like, the waffle type effect. It does have pockets. This I thought was more casual because it was a little bit shorter. Like cardigans that come like to my knees or right around that area and my head for some reason, I feel like they're a little bit dressier or you can dress them up. So for this one, since it was a little bit shorter, I thought let's pair it with the jeans and the white tee and it looks really cute. All right, next thing we have is this Vince Camuto like purple plaid top. When I first saw this, I thought that's not my style at all, but the more that I looked at it and the longer I wore it, the purple plaid kind of grew on me. I feel like, I don't know, it's it's a little bit dressy in my opinion. Okay, so the sleeves are this like see-through material. It has this cute cuff on the wrists. All right, so this I paired with those same black jeans that I wear with it, that first black top, but I just switched out the shoes and put on a pair of like tan, um, peak toe wedge type shoes. And initially I thought, let's do a workwear outfit with this one. But then I thought it could be cute to like wear out to lunch or dinner or, you know, let's style it. Oh, bless you, that was cash. <laughs> Um, I thought let's style it a little bit different because my immediate reaction when I get these boxes or my first thought is can I wear it to work um, and a lot of times the answer is no because I don't or I can't really wear a lot of patterns so I thought let's do it different let's style it like as if I was going to lunch with friends or maybe 
um, a casual type dinner restaurant. So this actually turned out really cute with the black jeans and the tan shoes. It's $108. You want to let that sink in? I'll say it again. $108. Are y'all ready for the last thing in my box? Okay, here we go. We have these like Keds work boots they remind me of. Um, I saw these in the preview for the box that was coming before it actually arrived and I was kind of mad. I'll be honest. Like these aren't my style at all. And I thought, what are they thinking? Like, have I, have I ever talked about shoes like this? Like, do I pin shoes like this? No, no. Um, but Here's the deal. Styling things, as I've mentioned, definitely makes a big difference. So when I showed Brian these and I kind of showed them to him, like, what were they thinking? He was like, those were kind of cute. This is how you could style them. So his thoughts for these were a pair of like hunter green skinny jeans or leggings. I already own a pair. I put on some cute black with like white speck socks so you can kind of see the socks and then a maroon sweater that was his plan that was his vision for this outfit um it's not really how i would have styled them but i didn't really know how to style them so i appreciate the input um, but it was a cute outfit like i think it's different the maroon sweater he voted for because of this bit of pink on the shoes so wearing them though these are very comfortable. It surprised me how comfortable they were. Do I like them? No, but I can see how you could style them and I could see myself wearing them for all day because they are that comfortable. So the total for everything, this box is pricey, $475. Like it makes me like <sighs> need to take a breath. It's, and it, it's strange to me because my profile is set to the cheapest amount per item so I don't know why my stylist thought yes let's send an a hundred dollar shirt and hundred and thirty five dollar jeans and hundred dollar shoes like I get that there are things that are nice quality and they're brands that are or that tend to be a little bit pricey but that's a lot of money all right, that's a wrap on this video. A link to sign up for Stitch Fix in the description box. I'll also try to find these items or similar ones. Link them down below. That way, if you want them and you don't want to sign up, you can just buy them outright. Let me know what y'all think about this kind of video. I think it's way more helpful, in my opinion, to show you things, how I would actually wear them versus, like I said, just standing here and showing a cardigan. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye. We're rolling! <laughs> you almost gave me a heart attack. Uh -oh. Come here. Come on. Come here. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Okay, we're rolling. You're rolling. Okay. Wait a minute, hang on. You getting a... Okay. All right, that, that pose right there with your other foot forward. Okay, let me, give me a second mm -hmm. to do it.